Joining us live for a discussion now, Sunil Gavaskar and Imran Khan. And I'm going to start with Sunny Bhai. And I'm going to go back right at the start of the game to the toss. I know, you know, in hindsight, that is always 2020 vision. But just going back to the situation of the series, one nil down, pressure to win this game. History suggests it's always safe to bat first at the Eden Gardens. If you were skipper, would you have not batted first? Yes, I guess, you know, it, I, as you said, it's uh, easy uh, because... Uh, uh, the only problem with uh, batting first sometimes uh, is you don't know what is a good score, what is a score that would be um, easy to defend. So sometimes I think captains uh, look at uh, the, uh, the possibility of uh, batting second so that they know what the asking rate is. Also, I think uh, perhaps uh, the, uh, the, the due factor might have uh, influenced uh, Mahendra Singh Dhoni uh, uh, to field first. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think there was very little due, uh, if any at all. And so that didn't really hamper the, uh, the, uh, the Pakistanis. But even then, by the time the deal would have come on, I, don't, I think the match would have been pretty much over. I think about 35, 40 overs would have been bowled anyway. So uh, it's hard to understand why, uh, why the decision was taken. But as, 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 as you said, it's you know, easy to be uh, uh, you know, wise um, in hindsight. But I, th I suppose the fact that India were already 1-0 down and uh, maybe they thought that uh, having batted first, they, they had lost. So I think it might be a good idea uh, to, to chase this time. Right, I'm going to go to uh, Khan Saab, who's joining us live from Islamabad. You know, Indian bowling has always been considered our weak link. But looking at the game today, would you say we need to blame the bowlers today? 250 on that flat track, many believed, was chaseable. Well, <clears throat> firstly, I think that uh, to, uh, you know, to give the other team the first chance to bat, you're taking a big risk. Because in a one-day match, the problem is if if you are up against a good bowling attack and once the batting side gives you a target to chase you must remember that batting second you have two problems one you have to cope with a good bowling attack secondly you have the scoreboard pressure because with each time a batsman is trying to get himself in he has a problem of run rate climbing up so if I, I mean as a captain unless there were Certain circumstances that, for instance, if I knew for a hundred percent that they would be due and that due would make it impossible to bowl later on, uh, unless I was convinced, I would always bat first. So that's my first observation. Secondly, I think India really did pull Pakistan back. Uh, at one stage, uh, uh, Pakistan was looking at 300. So India actually made a comeback to restrict from the start which Pakistan got, to restrict them to uh, 250, uh, the Indian bowlers did well. Right, uh, Sunny, but you know, it's, it's always a chicken and egg story. I'm just looking back at the 14 months, have not been great for Indian cricket. There's always a debate between batsmen and bowlers. Who do you think has really let the Indian team down? Is it the batting lineup who's not able to notch up those runs, be it abroad or at home, or the Indian bowlers who haven't been able to pick up wickets? In India, who are the most famous? Well, the batsmen. It's the batsmen. It's the batsmen. Uh, they are the ones, uh, you know, who are uh, known much more uh, than the bowlers. And uh, because of the performances they've had over the years as well. So it's not as if, you know, it's, it's just because they, they, they hold a bat in their hands. And uh, yes, I think they are the ones uh, you've got to hold responsible. They've been uh, uh, terribly out of form for, uh, since uh, uh, the World Cup in 2011. So it's been a long time since, uh, you know, uh, since they have actually struck form. They have, uh, you know, struck uh, form sporadically, but generally the batsmen have been out of form. Right. Uh, taking a cue from that, you've, you've mentioned, uh, you know, in, in our past discussions that ever since India won the 2011 World Cup, some players think that the nation owes something to them. You haven't never named them. You know, probably today is one of the worst days of Indian cricket, having lost to England, having lost to Pakistan now at home. I'm going to put you to it now. Would you be able to name those guys who you think have always, you know, expected India to give something back to them after winning that 2011 World Cup? No, but I think if you just have a look at the, uh, the events that took place immediately after the World Cup, uh, you will know the guys, uh, you know, who, um, who actually took their places for granted. Those who, you know, you know didn't make themselves available were, uh, were um, preferred to play... Uh, uh, the IPL and then go in for surgeries, etc. I think those are the guys who, uh, instead of you know looking at India, were looking at um, uh, contributing uh, for uh, uh, their uh, their IPL franchises. 
when in ca if at all you need need to take a rest you need to take a rest from the the club matches so that you play for your country i think what is i mean there can be nothing greater than representing your country all right that hint that. is good enough for us to identify who the players you're talking about i'm going to go to khan sir you know uh, the same point that uh, sunny bhai mentioned that you know it's been the casual attitude of some of our star batsmen have you felt the same watching them play against pakistan um well let me first say that uh india lost i think four tests against england right. uh, after the world cup and then they lost four tests against australia uh am i right i think they That's lost correct. eight tests in a row so in the past india i mean when i played india india did not really have a great bowling attack but india had a very strong batting attack uh, batting uh, lineup and so what used to happen was that uh, the indian batting used to take the pressure and so the bowlers you know they somehow because the batsmen would put up such a big score that's how the bowlers would perform uh, and i think sunny played in this match uh, which was played against one of the greatest teams in cricket history uh, where the uh, the indian team chased almost something like 400 runs in trinidad that's you know 400 runs in the second innings to win a match so Uh, that was the quality of indian batting and that took lot of pressure off the bowlers what is happening right now is that india does not have a great bowling attack and in test cricket india cannot get 20 wickets with the bowling attack they've got so they depend on their batsmen but unfortunately the batting when it has come to testing conditions the batting has failed see there's one thing batting on uh in the in warm weather in india where the pitches are dry they are easy low bounce there's another when you're playing in australia or england when the ball is moving or oh, right now this is the only time in india in 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 december january when the ball moves and so when the indian batting came up, up against the moving ball i'm afraid uh, it, it it failed right I, i'm going to you know talk about that you mentioned how testing conditions have you know never been great for indian batsmen but i'm just looking back at the england odi series and now against pakistan i understand that you know bit of moisture is helping the ball swing a bit but even then many would consider these are conditions tailor made for indian batting now that the you know famed indian batting is not living up to expectation should indian cricket be very very worried uh you asking me that's correct uh Look, I I have to say this. I've been watching Indian cricket uh, till the World Cup last year, and I what unless Indian cricket deals with this IPL, unless there is a, a Indian brains and one of the best brains, of course, is Sunil Gavaskar sitting there. Unless you work out a balance between Test cricket and the this 2020 cricket. unless and and the commercial aspect of this indian cricket could go down very rapidly because remember test cricketers are only made in uh, cricketers are made in test cricket a great test cricketer will perform anywhere uh an ipl cricketer or a 2020 cricketer might might occasionally do well in 2020 but can never become a good test cricketer so if you uh from what i could understand from suril that if the players do not pay enough attention to test cricket and if somehow 2020 becomes the main cricket which all the players want to play eventually indian cricket is going to take a battering it's going to suffer india's number one news app just got even better download ndi tv's new app fully optimized for retina display full screen view Faster response time and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.